fear is a tool. But when that light hits the sky, it's not just a call. It's a warning. I'm vengeance. You see, many events have happened in history that we look back at now and we realize we could have changed if things had been different. Isn't it very, very interesting that we are living in a time where such an event is happening now and it is happening to a people in a country like China whereby women are being raped children are being separated from their families organs are being harvested people are being put into concentration camps and did they think that we were just going to stand idly by i want to tell the chinese government and the chinese communist party one thing I want to tell you directly you may be able to manipulate governments but you cannot manipulate the millions of Muslims around the world did you think that you are going to have a minority group in your country persecute them in the way that you are persecuting them Deal with them in the way that you are dealing with them and that we were not going to get involved. Do you think that if you start war, if you start a war with the Uyghurs, that you have not started a war with the Muslims? I tell the Chinese today, with all vehemency and all vigor, you have started a war with the Muslims. You've taken your flag away. Well, I have a flag that you can replace your flag with. Take this Uyghur flag, you son of a bitch! I tell you today, you have nothing to offer the world. You have nothing at all to offer the world. You know why? Because you have already incorporated a Marxist communist system. You've already lost the war against the Americans and the West because you have taken their ideology but let me tell you something your best bet is actually to become muslims that's your best bet your best bet is to do what the mongols did and embrace islam you have nothing to offer the world you have nothing to offer the world at all what happens if you become a superpower tell me what happens when you become a superpower in this cold war that you want to get into with the americans what have you got to offer the rest of the world? You've already taken their ideologies. Marxism, Leninism, you are nothing. I tell you, you are nothing. And it's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time until we deal with you. Don't breathe. And I say this again, with all vehemency and all vigor, that you cannot beat and defeat an enemy that when they look at the barrel, the bottom of the barrel of the gun. They see paradise. We don't care about death, in fact. We don't care about martyrdom. Please make us martyrs. You cannot beat us. We're the unbeatable enemy. You should actually learn from the Uyghurs. You should actually learn from them the purpose of life to worship one God. You should learn from them not to worship statues. And I tell you today that you may be taken off La ilaha illallah from the tops of the masjids and replacing it with your communist flag. 
the flag of your ideological masters. But taking her off the masjid does not mean taking her out of the hearts of the believers. So I tell you once and again, it's only a matter of time. And you may want to start this Cold War with America, which you're starting now. Having the Muslims as your enemies is not a good idea. And history, as it had in the past, with the Persians and the Romans and the Mongols and all of these. History will tell this story again and you will be defeated under... Until justice is served. Oh. 